Ready to have your mind blown? Meditation may actually lead to a longer lifespan. Is that true? Oh my God, I gotta start meditating. Meditation is a regular habit for nearly 500 million people worldwide. While the goal of meditation is to focus, regulate, and open the mind, what exactly do scientists find when investigating a meditator's brain? I'm Shannon. I'm sorry. It's all right. Noise is no barrier to meditation. Huh. I'm Shannon, and I'm a neuroscience PhD candidate. And this is your brain on meditation. The meditator I'm currently awkwardly staring at is Michael Miller, founder of New York Meditation Center. While Michael may seem inactive, there are actually major chemical changes occurring in his brain. There's increased activity spanning from his occipital lobe all the way to his impressively sized frontal lobe. Sorry. This area of the brain is implicated in attention as well as monitoring internal and external states. You can think of these areas of the brain as kind of like your mom, always paying attention and always checking in on you. Meditation... <laughs> Meditators show increased activation in the precuneus, an area of the brain associated with self-reflection. It also lights up the insula, which allows you to empathize with others and allows you to hear your own heartbeat. Just when I thought sitting down was relaxing, meditation found a way to make it a workout. Interestingly, EEG scans show that even when a meditator feels like nothing is happening, they can still be having positive effects. In studies where participants felt a little uncomfortable or like nothing was occurring, the brain scan still showed heightened brain activity. Oh, we should put that in the video. <laughs> I think you did. What? Hello, hello, hello. Having trouble paying attention to this video? Well, meditation can help. Well, not during this video, obviously. Wait till after. No, 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 back, 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 back. Long-term meditators show increased performance and attention tasks, as well as reduced cognitive <laughs> I forgot the line, and I got scared of him. <laughs> I keep freaking out. Talk about emotional regulation. I am not able to regulate my emotions right now. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Meditation has been used as a therapeutic measure in cognitive disease. In one study, just eight weeks of Hey, no, 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 pay attention. Over here, over, oh, yeah. In one study, just eight weeks of meditation showed improved memory function and improved cognitive performance in Alzheimer's patients. Meditation, it's like a workout for your brain, you know? Like a bicep curl for your brain. I can't even do the motion, it looks weak. It looks like spaghetti. Also, it keeps you calm in stressful situations. Meditation has long been linked to an increased ability to emotionally regulate or the ability to control which emotions arise, when, how long they last, and how they're expressed. Something that I would know relatively little about considering I cry during every Pixar movie. I literally scream with excitement whenever I see a dog, and I cannot stand this guy right now. Hello. This increased ability to emotionally regulate is linked with decreased amygdala activity. The amygdala is sort of like the drama queen of the brain. You gotta tear me apart, Lisa! When presented with emotionally charged images, meditators show decreased amygdala activity. These meditators also showed increased activity in the prefrontal cortex, which is sort of like the area of the brain that keeps your drama queen amygdala in check. I would love some prefrontal control right now. Come on! Is this not a parking meter? I don't even own a car. What? Okay, ready to have your mind blown? Meditation has been linked to changes in your DNA. Telomeres, to be exact. Telomeres are sort of a protective tail on your DNA, which act as a protective mechanism, which gradually wear away as you age. Kind of like uh, the hard part at the end of your shoelaces, or uh, kind of like helmets on bikers. No, more like the caps at the end of your shoelaces. Telomeres are also known as to be a biomarker for cellular age. So, as meditators show increased telomere length compared to non-meditators, this suggests that meditation may actually lead to a longer lifespan. Meditation is thought to lower your baseline stress. Like a cowboy who's cool under pressure, meditators show decreased heart rate, blood pressure, 
and stress hormone cortisol. This is thought to be done through a reduction of your fight or flight response. So by chilling out your jumpy areas of your brain, meditation may actually lead to a lower daily stress level. <sighs> While many people self-report the benefits of meditation, the science actually agrees. And meditation is not limited to mountain monasteries or new age corporate retreats. You can get the neurophysiological benefits on a plane, on the subway, in a coffee shop, anywhere you can comfortably sit down. Unless that seat is in front of a Pixar movie. That poor Nemo is lost in trying to find his... Wait a second, I'm not crying, it worked! <laughs> <laughs>